Hi, I'm Chris, and today I'll be talking about STL's Florentine Soprano Ocarina. The Florentine Ocarinas are excellent for beginners who would rather learn on a clay ocarina than a plastic ocarina. The Florentine Soprano makes a great first ocarina for young children, adults with smaller hands, and players who enjoy the soprano range. It's also a great ocarina for anyone who appreciates the look of traditional Italian ocarinas, but is looking for an instrument with easier breath requirements and an extended range. The Florentine Soprano is fully chromatic and plays in the key of C from A5 to F7, giving it a range of one octave plus five for a total of 13 notes. Here's the scale. The Florentine Soprano Ocarina is a little over five inches long, and it's about two and a half inches wide. Compared with the Florentine Tenor, you can see how much smaller the Soprano is. It weighs about two and a half ounces, which I discovered is about the same as my Swiss Army pocket knife. So here they are next to each other again for a better size comparison. The Florentine Soprano's unique shape is inspired by the first classical ocarinas, which were invented in Budrio, Italy by Giuseppe Donati in the mid-19th century. He is considered the father of modern ocarinas, and this series is a tribute to that contribution. The Florentine Soprano has a slight texture and feels grainy like glazed terracotta. For beginners, having a slight texture can be beneficial for keeping a good grip on the ocarina while playing, and it also allows for easier transitioning for the notes which require you to quickly cover and uncover the sepals. Although soprano ocarinas are great for children and adults with smaller hands, if you have larger hands, you may find that your fingers feel a bit crowded, so for many people, the Florentine tenor may be a better choice. The Florentine soprano ocarina requires less breath to stay on pitch than other soprano ocarinas in my collection, which gives it a relatively soft volume compared with other soprano ocarinas. This makes it a great ocarina for playing indoors as well as outdoors. The highest notes require a little extra breath, which makes them a little bit louder, but the lowest notes using the subholes can be played very easily using even breath pressure, like this. This ocarina is designed to be very easy to play. While the ergonomics may feel different at first for ocarinas with this unique shape, some well-placed beveling around the subholes makes it easier to play the lowest notes. Little details like this, in addition to the texture and the easy breath requirements, make this ocarina very beginner friendly. Despite the Florentine Soprano's softer volume compared with other Soprano ocarinas, the tone is moderately bright and responsive. The overall tone is very consistent and balanced, and there is a slight texture across the range. If this is your first ocarina, I highly recommend making use of the neck strap hole, which on the Florentine ocarina is located right here on the side. This isn't as much of a concern for plastic ocarinas, which can easily survive a fall, but you'll want to protect your Florentine ocarina until you get more practice holding and playing it. In fact, I would recommend doing this for every new clay ocarina until it feels comfortable in your hands and you can confidently play the high notes. To discover the best technique for playing the high notes, you may want to experiment with different techniques to find the one that works best on each ocarina. For example, I use one technique to play the high notes on ocarinas that have a longer, more tapered shape, like the Florentine Soprano, but I use a different technique for ocarinas that have a rounder submarine shape. In my opinion, the best kind of music to play on a soprano ocarina is lively, upbeat music, the kind of stuff that makes you want to dance. Its softer volume gives the Florentine Soprano a sort of bird-like quality, and faster tunes really bring this out.
Well, that's all for this time. Thanks for watching.